Hey there, CPO here, and I want to go over real quick just some quick testing that I was doing with my Tricopter Electronics so that I could make sure everything's working fine before I introduce another component that is the flight controller. So um, I wasn't really going to record this, but in the process of testing my servo, I found that I had a little bit of buzz in the neutral position, which meant there was probably something putting pressure on it perhaps the way it's installed and uh, there was an angle or something that was causing me uh, some grief. So in order to fix that, uh, I had to troubleshoot and figure out how to resolve and I thought I would just share that with you. So you're coming into this, basically what I have going on here is I have the servo plugged into one of the channels on my receiver. The receiver is powered by the external BEC that I have connected to my uh, wiring harness I made earlier. And basically I just have a uh, whatever model on my uh, transmitter setup that just gives me the opportunity to control the sticks and eventually here you'll see the throttle uh, and uh, and that's about it I'm just testing the components individually so let's see if you can hear that buzz that I'm hearing so you hear that buzz when I'm not applying any stick movement in that neutral position that buzz bothers me. I don't like it. Uh, and it means the servo is going to be working hard uh, trying to stay centered. And it's just not good for it. So the way I resolve this is to leave the servo powered on and the transmitter on so that uh, it still can be manipulated. And I start to relieve some of the pressure uh, on the, uh, the installation. And in this case, what I found is that it's the back zip tie. When it's tightened down, it puts enough pressure onto it that it, it must put it at a certain angle that uh, causes it to want to try and, and recenter. So what I'm going to do is uh, just beef up the back end of this installation by putting a couple folds of black tape in there uh, underneath the servo to kind of lift the rear part of the servo a little bit. And as you can tell, now I'm not getting any buzz in the neutral position, which is where I want to be. So I'll cinch these down and uh, get it buttoned back up, and then we'll move on. I'll show you how to test the motors and ESCs and the motor direction while I'm at it. All right, so let's test this back motor, make sure it all works, and, uh, and check the motor direction while we're at it. So what I have going on here is I have my UBEC, my external BEC, I'm just going to plug into one of my channels. Uh, I'm plugging into channel 8 here, checking to make sure that the polarity is right. And then I'm going to plug my wiring harness into only the power wires associated with my rear motor. That's ESC number 3. Since I want to check motor direction, I'm just going to set a prop on top uh, to see how it spins. Now, this isn't a mounted propeller, it is just sitting loose on top. Safety first. And the next thing I need to do is plug my ESC into the receiver. And I know this is the rear one because I marked it with some black uh, Sharpie, so uh, I can tell which ones are which. So I'm going to plug it into channel 1, which on my transmitter is a throttle channel. Now, I've already established that my rear motor is going to spin counterclockwise as seen from the top. So I'm going to run up my throttle and see what it does. And it does go counterclockwise, so the wiring for this motor is correct. The other good news is my ESC is working properly as well. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the other two motors. So starting with motor 1, uh, which you'll remember has the uh, power wire from the BEC internal to the ESC, which means I don't need the external uh, BEC power supply. So I'm just going to plug the uh, ESC for motor number one into the receiver, and then I'm going to plug the power to the ESC into the wiring harness and battery. And because this is the left front motor, I've established I want it to spin clockwise. So let's see what it does. and it does go the right direction. 
Of course, I knew this was going to happen because I've already been through this, and I actually had to switch two of the wires on the motor because originally it spun the wrong direction. Now we'll move to motor number two. Just like before, I'll be plugging the ESC into the receiver directly. And of course, this one does not have the BEC wire, uh, so I will need my external BEC for this. And, uh, and also the power wires for the uh, ESC from the battery, of course. This one should spin counterclockwise, just like the tail motor, and it does. So we're all good to go there. Uh, everything tests out fine before I add in the flight controller, which means anything wonky now, I can work on figuring it out with the flight controller. Oh, while I'm here, I figured I'd show you how the landing gear has settled in uh, over time now that it's kind of been in place for a while. And I still have plenty of room for clearance for the tricopter itself. So now the last thing I want to do before I start working on getting the KK board installed is go ahead and fasten down the wires on the arms, the motor wires. Now that I know that the motors are spinning in the direction that I want them to, I can go ahead and button these down. I decided to use three zip ties on the arm and then one in the middle of the loop. And you can see how that works. It stays out of the way when the arms fold up and still stay neat when the arms are extended. So I'll do the same thing to the left arm and then I'll tidy up the back arm and I'll show you the finished product. Oh, and with the back arm, I still have this servo wire to deal with eventually, but for now, I'm just going to leave it loose. I haven't quite figured out how I'm doing that wire yet. Worst case is I pop these two zip ties and add the servo wire into the mix. So here it is. Um, all the wiring is tidied up and ready for my KK 2.1 board to go on next. So that's what's coming up. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.